Hi! So I'm gonna do another video um, to show you and give you some ideas on how to play with your little ones. This toy is the best stacker. It's a spinny stacker. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna model for you how I usually start playing with kids. This is a great toy for joint attention, engagement, language, and especially for my little friends who are neurodivergent. So for when I first start to play with this toy, I usually model play. So I would say, ready, set, go. And I would turn it upside down. And I might even say, wow. Do you want to try? Do you want to help me put it on? Ready, set, go! Even if they just touch one of these, I want to have them touch it and say, oh, great job for helping me. Do you want to help me? And even if they do this, I'll say, ready, set, go! We can work on on, on, let go. <gasps> wow. Um, and I'll say, ready, set, go. I like to use a lot of the same language. Repetitive language helps children understand expectations. They start to say, wait a minute, I know what that is. We can work on colors with this one. We can work on concepts big and little. Oftentimes with this one, I like to work on joint attention. So I like to gather my pieces and I like to hand them to my little ones and work on a little bit of engagement, a little bit of joint attention. I'm not looking for them to hold eye contact for with me because for a lot of kids, that's not very comfortable. But what I am looking for is them to acknowledge me in some way to build that joint attention. And I can say, ready, here, oh, you do it. On. And this is one of those toys that parents tell me that kids start to play independently with. So if you're working on building independent play with your child and they're not interested in a lot of toys, this might be a great one to start with. 